I called dude like, hey, where you at? And the dude who I was hoping was my dude, was my dude. I was like, that's you? He said, yeah, that's me right here. I see you. I said, that's you, fam? And he's like, yes, that's me. So we hang up the phone and I looked at him. I said, you are not photogenic. I know that's not necessarily a compliment, but it's a compliment because you look amazing in person. Like, y'all, on his pictures, he looked like a six. In person, he was a nine. Yo, party people, it's Ashley of SingleWomanChronicles.com, where being single is a beautiful choice rather than a miserable circumstance. And before I even list our sponsors, I'm going to give a disclaimer about my dog today. For those who don't know, he's old. <laughs> he's 12. He'll, he'll be 13 in June. I love my pup, and I am so happy he's still alive. But he has heart problems, so he be coughing. So if you hear a weird, long, drawn, drawn out cough that sounds like something strange and someone is dying, no one's dying. It's just my dog. <laughs> so I just have to give that disclaimer because right now he's feeling a little restless. So that's when that coughing starts. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want y'all to be listening like, what the heck is that in her background? Anyway, today's episode is brought to you by my book series, Single Woman Chronicles. An Atlanta love story, kind of. This book is about dating in Atlanta, which is a struggle. As we all know, it is a two book series, a fiction series. And it's going to basically give you give you a view into the life of Ariana, who is a chick who got everything. She a baddie. She um, owns a business. And she's just out here, but she's having issues with guys. They're just not giving what they need to give. And then of course she meets somebody and of course her ex pops back up into the picture because that's what they be doing. So you can get this book to see if she gets to live her happily ever after or if she goes back to her ex. We don't know, but you can find out if you get it on Amazon, on books on Google Play. It's actually free if you go on that website, the first book. And it's not the actual physical copy, it's the ebook. And it's on Audible, Apple Books, and somewhere else. I'm forgetting. Y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> but I'm here, okay? I didn't want to not post story time this week, so here we are. So this week, I wanted to get into a good date. Um, the ending may not have been so good, but <laughs> the date was amazing. This was actually the best date that I had in 2022. So let's give a little background. So I decided to take an adventure onto dating apps again. And I was on Bumble. And y'all know I have an up and down love-hate relationship, mostly hate with <laughs> dating apps. If you go listen to my previous blogs about, not blogs, podcasts on dating apps, I talk about them a few times. But anyway, I just... I just feel like dating apps are just filled with trash <laughs> and, and it's sad because like we're not in the times where people do much approaching anymore. So a lot of guys feel like I don't have to approach because I can get on a dating app and I can meet a chick quick. So it's rare to get those authentic, real in life first time meetups. It's possible, but more they say like statistics say like 80 percent of people meet online now and that's not to discourage anyone it's just saying that i don't care about none of that i still hate day naps <laughs> um, because tony gaskin has like this great video on it he just talks about how out of a million guys it's probably like a thousand good ones did you hear what i said one thousand out of one million that's like one percent ten percent definitely not ten percent it's probably like one percent that's really sad that's really sad. 1% people. And I've I've had friends or people that I know have met people off of dating apps, but most of the time it's going to be more horror stories. They just been blessed and highly favored and they were God's favorite. So <laughs> anyway, so I met this guy on there and we're going to call him Q. So I met Q on there and Q and I, like, I really, I call him Q because he looks like Omar Epps when he was in the movie Love and Basketball. Although I think Love and Basketball is a horror film, horror film, argue, argue with me if you want to. I don't care. Love and Basketball is a horror movie. 
because that young lady pined over this man who done got engaged. She didn't even go enjoy her life. She just ended up with him. And then at the end had to fight for his love by playing basketball. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like how they was playing single women out here. Like we just desperate for our first love and we just, I don't like it. I wanted her to be more like sis who was her rival in college, who went out there and she was dating all the Spanish men and just moving around and getting her life together. It's pissing me off. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> so I met the guy, this guy named Q. And so me and Q, like, we was talking real heavy. Like, we was talking every day, texting, talking on the phone. But um, I don't know. Q was giving me emotionally unavailable or I possibly... Broke up with my girlfriend last week, and I'm we're going to get back together next week. But <laughs> I still was like, okay, I'll give it a try. But long story short, we were supposed to have our first date on this Saturday, right? Um, on a certain set, I can't, I don't know the dates. But we were supposed to have our date on a Saturday. Mind you, he planned it. Y'all, he planned this day. He planned the day. So we're supposed to have this date. And something in me said, check with him in the morning to make sure. And something in me said, don't get your hopes up because he might cancel on you last minute. So that week on that Wednesday, I confirmed. And on that Saturday morning early, I confirmed because I think my natural hair was out. So I wanted to curl it or do something, but I had to make sure, right? In the midst of this, I matched with another young guy, um, young man on Bumble as well. So this guy, he was very like, I'm trying to see you today. Like, I'm trying to see you written on. Now, Q's profile, like, he was my typical type. Like, he was everything I wanted physically. Like, the way he looked, um, how he dressed, how he carried himself, his sense of humor, all of that kind of stuff. But again, he was still giving, I got a girlfriend, we just on a break, I'm probably going to go back next week. But then this new guy on his pictures, he, he was the only thing I liked was he was tall. <laughs> Let, let's be honest. He was tall on a picture. He was okay looking. Like he wasn't like, oh my God, he fine when you see him on the pictures and stuff. So I'm like, he'll do. He might have a good personality. So I did like when we started talking how like intentional he was on trying to see me and like texting me and being consistent. And we're going to call him... What we gonna call him? We gonna call him Percy. And I'm gonna tell y'all why we calling him Percy. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm talking to both of these gentlemen, but I'm more into Q because me and Q have talked longer. And me and Percy, like we just started to talk a few days ago, but Percy's trying to see me Saturday. Q's trying to see me Saturday too. But I was only, I was gonna see if... Q canceled because if Q canceled, I was gonna be like, yeah, to to Percy. But Percy, um, I told him no because when I hit Q up on that morning, he's like, and it's 10 a.m. He's like, no, we're still going. Cool. 2 p.m. roll around. Mind you, Percy was like, I'm trying to see you at noon. And I could have been hanging out with Percy. But Q told me he was trying to see me that day at like seven. And I'm like, I can go on two days, but I ain't trying to be on my hot girl ish right now. I'm a, I'm a chill and I'm gonna just rock with you. About not I ain't gonna say 2 p.m. I'm gonna say like 5 p.m. I get a phone call from Q, and I already know here come the bull. Long story short, Q done lied, and I'm gonna tell y'all how I know he was lying. One, I just knew. <laughs> um, two. Anyway, so he called me lying, telling me that his sister got into a car accident this morning. Mind you, it's like five o'clock. If your sister got into a car accident this morning at 10 a.m. when you text me, you would have told me she got into a car accident and you needed to cancel. But that's not what you did. You waited till 5 p.m. Probably around the time your girlfriend said, yes, I'll take you back. But anyway, you wait till 5 p.m. You make up this stupid story talking about your sister got into a car accident. She's not dead. She's not injured. She's okay. She's at home. But you don't feel comfortable coming on a date tonight because mentally and emotionally, you're, you're feeling off. I'm just wondering if I look like Boo Boo the Fool because that's who, who he thought I was. Like, you really think I believe you? You sound dumb. <laughs> like, 
Like, you sound dumb. But I ain't even tripped. I was like, all right, cool. So then he sends me a text. He's like, here go the picture of my sister's car. Yeah, it's messed up. He told me the morning, y'all, why the picture he sent me was a picture of somebody's windshield shattered, but it was at night. You told me morning. Why this picture at night? I didn't even confront him because I knew he was lying. I just said, okay, we never talked again after that. I have till this day, I haven't heard from this man. I deleted his number. Like everything was gone. I knew from that. I was just pissed because I could have been with Percy. <laughs> like, hello, this is stupid. So that's why I was more pissed. And then the fact that like we had talked so heavily over two weeks and we had FaceTime, we had good chemistry and everything. You just ghost like that. Again, I wasn't tripping because it was given very much. I have a girlfriend, we're on a break, and I'm waiting on her to start acting right. Energy. But anyway, so <sighs> that was annoying. But I'm like, cool, because even though I couldn't see Percy on that sat that same Saturday, I told him we was going to link up on that Sunday. So cool. So we say we're linking up on that Sunday at 12 p.m. So I'm kind of like, I'm excited to see... I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I really wasn't excited to see him. <laughs> he was because he was the guy who's like, he's not fully my type physically, but I'm trying to turn over a new leaf and date outside of my type. And I'm trying to go for more than just looks and like smell good and like dress nice. I'm trying to go for substance. So to me, he has substance. So I really wasn't that excited, but I said, you know, I'm still gonna get cute. I'm still gonna dress to impress because, you know, you just never know. So he's like, meet me here in the Battery. Anybody who lives in Atlanta knows that's like this really nice, cool area that's over by the Brave Stadium. So he says, meet me here at the Battery at noon. So I said, okay, cool. I got you. So I get dressed, pull up. Um, I, I got my like, I, I'm looking good. I'm looking good. I got my tight jeans on. I got, um, it was like, I think it was like March. So it was kind of chilly, but not super cold. So I had on this light, like little cute turtleneck with like some little cute boots and my hair was out and it was wanded very cute like when I walked my hair was blowing in the wind yes we we out here giving so I'm walking up and he's um and as I'm walking up I see this guy and so I'm looking like dang I wish that was my day because dude is like six two he got on a cute like a nice outfit I could tell he smelled good from a distance his physique is nice like everything so I called dude like, hey, where you at? And the dude who I was hoping was my dude, was my dude. I was like, that's you? He said, yeah, that's me right here. I see you. I said, that's you, fam? And he's like, yes, that's me. So we hang up the phone and I looked at him. I said, you are not photogenic. I know that's not necessarily a compliment, but it's a compliment because you look amazing in person. Like, y'all. On his pictures, he looked like a six. In person, he was a nine. Okay, y'all. We talk about mental health a lot. But are you taking charge of your mental health journey? You already know I talk about going to therapy and how my therapist snatches my edges all the time. Asking me questions that I would have never thought to ask myself. Asking me questions that I've pondered on for years. <laughs> but... I want that for you. I want growth for you. I want the best version of yourself because the only way to reach your goal, your potential, your destiny is to become the best version of yourself. And let that begin with therapy. So let's start with Talkspace. Talkspace has a promotion right now where you can get $100 off your first month. All you need is the code SPACE. Yes, S-P-A-C-E, SPACE. Click the link in the description box to get talk space right now today. Let's start 2023 off right. We out here. I already told y'all we out here. So get it right now. Click the link wherever you're listening. Spotify, Apple. It's in the description box. Even YouTube. Get it right now. $100 off. Like $100. That's a lot of money. Y'all better come get this. Come get this therapy. Come get this therapy. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. That day I was God's favorite. I was so excited. So <laughs> we go into the um, first restaurant and we're, we're trying to go for brunch. But for some reason, they didn't start serving food till two. That was weird. But <laughs> we go in there, we sit down and it's like, oh, we don't sell food till two. 
And I'm like, I'm hungry though. He's like, okay, cool. That's fine. But we're going to get these shots in. So I'm like, okay, off to the party. Let's get it. Sunday fun day. So we take shots and then we're sitting there getting to know each other. So y'all, here's why I call him Percy. He told me his name was something else, but he was talking about a story. And in the story, he called himself Percy. And I said, I thought your name was such and such. And he said, oh no, that's my nickname. That's what they called me in college. I said, oh, okay. So I didn't think nothing of it, but I took a mental note. I'm like, we're going to sticky note this, <laughs> right? So anyway, oh y'all, my allergies is killing me. I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyway, we take another shot and then we go to another restaurant. So by this time, it's like, want something so we go to this restaurant and he orders wings i think i ordered calamari but his wings look like they was good <laughs> and i was mad i didn't order wings and so i'm eating the calamari and i'm like i wish i would have ordered some wings and he calls the waiter over and he's like get her some wings too and i'm like <gasps> he knows my love language food this is a match this is a match so <laughs> we eat we have more drinks there so by the time it was time to go, it was like three something. And he's like, I'm not ready for the day to end. Let's go to this other place. So I'm like, dang, we have three different locations in one day. This is great. So we go to the next place and I don't smoke hookah, but he was like a hookah person. So he got his hookah and we ordered more drinks there. So everything was good. Like we are connecting everything like end of the day. He kissed me. I kissed back. It was great. <laughs> like, it was great. He wasn't being frisky, nothing like that. We kissed. We said goodbye. So we were together from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Like, the date was great, y'all. Like, I'm thinking there's a future here. Because this date was so great, there's a future here. Well, life comes at you fast. <laughs> because, <laughs> um, my... You could, some people call it their Holy Spirit. That's what I call mine. Other women call it their gut intuition. Whatever you want to call it. But mine was saying that something was off. So, long story short, the next week, I found, so on a day, I found out he didn't live here. I found out he lived in Augusta. So, I'm like, okay, since you came out here this week, I can come to you next week. Yeah, I sound crazy because, like, you don't know this man, but you're going out there. But I'm the type, as long as, my first of all, my friends check my phone. Second of all, we're going to a public place. I'm not going to your home. Third of all, as long as I know your full information, like your first, last name, phone number, all of this, we good. Well, people, I asked this man for his full name and he wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> he kept deflecting. And he, I didn't have his real phone number. He gave me a like a Google app number. So I asked him for his real phone number. He wouldn't give it to me. Then I asked him for his full name and he ignored the text. And then later on was like, what you doing is if I didn't ask him for his full name. And then I said, I can't come to see you if I don't even know your full name or your phone number. Like, this is weird. And he's like, oh, well, I didn't want you to come this weekend anyway, because I'm going to uh, wine tasting with my company. What? <laughs> like, what does it have to do with your full name? So I'm like, what? Okay. I still need your full name because you're being weird. So then he texts me back like three hours later, like nothing happened. What you doing? Wondering why you won't give me your full name. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? What are you hiding? Are you a human trafficker? Like, what's going on here? He's like, I've given it to you already, but... I'm going to go now because this is getting uncomfortable. You're right, it's getting uncomfortable because you tied a line. That's why it's getting uncomfortable. <laughs> so that was the end of that situation. Haven't heard from him again either. Um, but it was still a good date. Um, I, I don't take back or regret the date. The great the date was great. Um, but I'm just the type of person that like when that little gut started hitting me, I'm going to listen to her. 
Because what we're not going to do is get up to Augusta and get killed because I don't know your full name. And me not knowing your name, it probably wouldn't have avoided me getting killed. But at least people would have known who killed me. <laughs> like, who, un I'm sorry, who unalived me. Like, come on, man. So, yeah, I, I still had a good time. Still had a good time. Still waiting on my bow ass, people. Still waiting on my bow ass. But, yeah, next week I think I want to talk about the first time I pulled up on a guy. First and last. First and last. So, <laughs> no, it wasn't the first. But it was, like, the adult me. So, I still count it as a first. Because the first I was in high school, so they don't count. But, <laughs> all right, till next time. Bye.